Hello, welcome back. The engineer back in uh, Racine, Wisconsin. So, last video we found top dead center on the on the 280 block, and uh, that was pretty easy. Um, but I had to take the degree wheel off to get the cylinder head on and get the chain drive and all that stuff kind of located on the. Uh, on the engine. So when I popped off the, the degree wheel, I had to loosen up that this nut, or rather this bolt here, and that's kind of holding it all together. I had to I had to bump that pretty hard counterclockwise to uh, to get it um, to to take the wheel off. And when I did that, I wasn't sure I hadn't moved the actual crank itself. So I decided uh, I was going to do another video just um, showing how to find top dead, dead, top dead center with a stop. Um, so I've got the cylinder head installed. And I've got this uh, tool that I purchased. This is from um, a place online. I think it's called Speed Shop. And uh, I had to replace the original piece. I went with a longer bolt. This is a 3.816 bolt. I cut a slot in it to see if I could help with the um, venting it during the cycles. Um, so I, I, got, I have that installed, and then I also have uh, lighter springs installed on the on this uh, number one cylinder. Those are from Goodson. And all I'm doing there is uh, it just kind of helps reduce the load. And I have the uh, sprocket installed, and I have. Um, the uh, tensioners and the guides all installed. I have all that situated. And uh, it's kind of ready to go. So we're going to find top dead center again. We're, uh, we're just going to kind of make sure it didn't move before I go to the next video. So hang on. Here we go. So I'm going to turn it um, clockwise first. I think. Actually, no. I'm going to turn it the other way. Because I'm already on the stop. So, here we go. I'm back at the crank again with the screwdriver. No, oh, that is. That is. That is on the stop. You can hear it kind of building up pressure. I'm going to push. These springs are really light. They're kind of nice. I can kind of let things vent. And there, I've stopped. I've hit. I've hit my stop, and it's right at about 26 and a half degrees um, before top dead center. I don't know if you can see that. And then I'll go back the other way, and it should be at about the same point. It should be 27 degrees. It should be on this side. On the other side is zero. Stop. And I am at 26 degrees after top dead center. So I think um, I think my my zero is still good. So I'm gonna jump. Uh, that's gonna be it for this one. I'm gonna jump into the next one. Um, that's we're gonna find the um, the center line of the intake valve because that's really the most important thing. Thanks for watching.